It takes a village to raise a child, is the old saying about raising kids. Parents need support. It's pretty obvious, no? But that's really only half the story. Because societies and families have evolved a lot since men were the only gender of prime ministers, presidents, and the sole arbiters of key public policies. Times have changed, and it's time for political attitudes to change with them. Take childcare. The provision of accessible, affordable and high-quality childcare is essential for enabling Europe's economy compete globally in the 21st century. And here's what the current generation of still mostly male policymakers need to understand. First, childcare isn't just about women. It's about families, traditional, single parent, same sex, blended or otherwise. The burden of child rearing is more diffuse than ever. Extended parental leave has significant social benefits for both fathers and children. Affordable childcare can enable women who wish to return to work significantly greater employment possibilities. High quality early education has lasting positive impacts on kids, especially those from the lower socioeconomic groups. Second, investing in childcare is an economic no-brainer. The returns on building high quality early childhood systems are astronomical. Results from the United States show that high quality early childhood programs can yield a four to nine dollar return per one dollar invested. It's basically spend a little, save a fortune in the future. Third, childcare must be viewed as an essential part of the wider education system and not just a luxury for the middle classes. An issue like childcare is what puts the social into the social market economy model. Countries with private sector-led childcare systems, the United Kingdom, Ireland, the United States, have some of the highest childcare costs in the world. Childcare must simply be viewed as an essential public service. <laughs>